YouTube, good morning and welcome back to the channel, Cray Cloud IT Pro. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the different data points between Microsoft Sentinel and Splunk. It's going to be a banger, guys, so stay tuned. If you can, please drop a comment and a like down below and also subscribe to the channel. It helps support your boy. I appreciate you. In this video, I want to talk about the different data set features from Sentinel and Splunk. I'm going to show you how Microsoft Sentinel has made it super easy to rapidly onboard a full cloud native security SIEM solution compared to a traditional SIEM. So what is Microsoft Sentinel? If you've watched my other videos, I hope you already know this, but I'll just give a quick brief recap. So Microsoft Sentinel is Microsoft security information and event management solution. Entirely built on the Microsoft uh, Cloud, Sentinel is a next-gen security solution that is built on machine learning, artificial intelligence. Through Microsoft Sentinel, organizations are able to detect and mitigate th uh, threats faster. The Sentinel platform collects data across the cloud, detecting potential hidden threats and analyzing activity for threats that may still be unseen. Once these threats have been discovered, the AR-based solution investigates and responds with the potential to self-heal the network. Incidents are responded to both and more completely and rapidly, thereby reducing the damage done. So Microsoft Sentinel's built-in orchestration also gives the ability to automate tasks. Sentinel comes with advanced analytics services, artificial intelligence, and data collection that has been both optimized and streamlined. Further, it's affordable solution that boasts predictable billing cycles. Not only are users satisfied with the security solution, but they also show great confidence in their company's overall direction. Microsoft Sentinel is very easy to set up, use, and administer. So if we have a look at Splunk. So Splunk is a data to everything platform for security, IT, and DevOps. The Splunk Cloud Security Cloud Service features such as security analytics, seams, automation, and orchestration, investigation, forensics, security incident response, and unified security operations. Splunk is like an all-in-one security solution that also uses big data and artificial intelligence to detect and mitigate threats. So some advantages of Splunk is it's a smaller company compared to Microsoft Sentinel. Uh, leading some customers to feel though they may get a per more personalized and direct approach when working with the company. Though the technology is not as well robust or well integrated as Sentinel. It is a solid platform that is still being improved upon and developed. Um, but the pricing information varies to Splunk as well as Microsoft Sentinel. I'll talk about the pricing in a second. Uh, but it's very difficult to get a cost, uh, direct cost comparison between the two systems. So Splunk really excels in event management and reporting. A downside to Splunk is it can take a little longer to learn due to its reliance on the query language. So most SOC analysts are also not Splunk experts. It takes a lot of time and training to become proficient with the Splunk platform. Since Splunk uses proprietary language SPL, it's not easy for general security analysts to use. And many SOC analysts struggle with Splunk enterprise security. If you like, have a team of dedicated Splunk experts who can perform the configuration, set up of dashboards, build the queries for your SOC analysts, then you might obtain a lot of value from using Splunk over Sentinel. However, if your security team is on its own and all they have, you know, they have to build everything, maintain everything, and and you know, use a dashboard and query building, it may be difficult to realize the value from such an expensive platform where you'd have to integrate extra training. So the typical price comparison here, and, and please don't t t take this for, for granted, uh, it, it can vary between organization's size and usage. It may not be possible for your organization to tell you which will be more affordable for your company until you get like quotes from either one. So just from the di uh, di diagram alone, you can see that a typical, a sorry, a typical traditional cost for on-prem seam is obviously higher in solution for infrastructure. While Sentinel's license includes all features, it does have some pricing details to keep your eye out for, which, you know, the biggest charge 
is to watch is the additional cost with exceeding your, your reserve pricing. A general rule of thumb for an architecture perspective is when you have Sentinel, keep the data in there for 30 days and then archive that data to like Data Explorer or another low cost storage solution. This saves like heavy data ingestion charges. The Splunk pricing model is very complex. So the company charges you for extra storage. They charge you for encrypting your data at rest. The SIEM itself is an additional cost on top of the core product, which you also have to buy. Also, the staffing and infrastructure needed to run Splunk and learn Splunk. So the main differences between uh, the Splunk Cloud and Splunk On-Prem is that you don't have to handle all of the infrastructure. So all of the management elements that are in purple or in the right are handled from Splunk. So you don't have to worry about your cluster saves, patching, backups, etc. But you still require a Splunk deployment server to be running somewhere, whether it's in Azure or on another cloud provider or on-premise. It can be very small, but you still need to be able to secure the server with a firewall, VNet segregation, Basically treat this as you would a high value application asset. It needs all the security around it because it's going to be a virtual machine. Whereas Sentinel is just a SaaS solution. You just enable it on top of log analytics. The Splunk data ingestion topology. So this kind of has the same sort of ingestion topology as Sentinel and we'll look at Sentinels in a minute. So it still has an agent, so Splunk Universal Forwarder, which goes to the auto-balanced index cluster. You can still deploy syslog servers, again with the Splunk forwarders, or connect uh, or Splunk Connect for syslog. You have direct integration uh, supported for apps or an add-on in Splunk base. You can use API to pull data at rest uh, into VMs with the Splunk forwarders, or you can also create custom uh, connectors with Python as well. With Sentinel, pretty much the same same sort of method. We have a log analytics or MMA agent which can connect to a proxy server or directly to Sentinel. You have the syslog servers. These can be deployed with log analytics or using a log stash. Then you have direct service integration with vendor support and API connectors with Microsoft products, all native very easy connection being like a one click. So you click Office 365, one click Defender for Endpoint, one click Azure AD, one click. Something else, one click, <laughs> as long as it's Microsoft native. Uh, you can also develop custom uh, connectors here using Logic Apps or, fun uh, or Azure Functions. Now, the Splunk data pipeline here, there's obviously a lot going on in this diagram, so I'll just briefly just brush over this diagram. So once logs from the data source reach a collection point in Splunk, the logs enter the parsing pipeline. So this is where the following actions are taken on the logs. Setting source type and event type, character set normalization, end of the line identification, timestamp identification normalization, event boundary identification, etc. So once the initial parsing is complete, the logs are in, uh, indexed at the indexer and stored. The logs are now searchable in Splunk. So optionally, these logs can be normalized into data models. This is usually done when you have like multiple vendors for similar log types in different formats. So these data models can also be accelerated to further improve the learning speed when it comes in Splunk. So the Sentinel data pipeline here, he can see raft about the sheer simplicity of this data pipeline. Now this doesn't mean that anything is missed or non-functional from a Microsoft perspective. So logs from the data source are ingested to log analytics slash Sentinel, and these are stored in assigned tables. Once in the tables, the data can be queried in Sentinel using the Custo query language. In Sentinel, data parsing is done at the querying time. You can add parsing logic to your monitoring queries, or you can store uh, dedicated parsing KQL queries as functions in log analytics that pass the logs from their assigned tables and store them in custom tables, which can then be referenced in your query. So something which is uh, relatively recent or not that recent 
is the advanced security information model. So this is a layer that is located between these diverse sources and the user. So the ASIM follows the robustness principle, be strict in what you send, be flexible in what you accept. So using the robustness principle as a design pattern, ASIM transforms Microsoft Sentinel's inconsistent and hard to use telemetry into user-friendly data. So ASIM aligns with the open source security events metadata common information model, allowing for predictable entities correlation across normalized tables. This is a community-led project that focuses primarily on the documentation and standards of security event logs from diverse data sources and operating systems. This project also provides a common information model that can be used for data engineers during data normalization procedures to allow security analysts to query and analyze data across uh, diverse data sources. So which one should you choose? Both Sentinel and Splunk are similar in their product offerings, but there are some key differences that you might factor into your decision making. Splunk generally gets better ratings for quality of support and ease of doing business. The only area Splunk kind of excels in over Sentinel is event management and incident reporting. A lot more people are starting to trust more Microsoft products just because they have a great network management, incident management, and security intelligence. Sentinel is generally rated as being easier to use, set up, and administer. I'm obviously biased, and I would definitely choose Sentinel over Splunk, not because I've worked with the product since it came out, but because of the sheer ease and integration and management perspective. It requires zero infrastructure, no patching, minimal management. It's backed by thousands of community security experts, as well as the Microsoft Security Dart team. The minute there's like a, a, an exploit or a breach, you know, someone will create the analytic rule and it's ready available to you within minutes to help you tackle your situation, to help you navigate through your own infrastructure to see if you actually have a breach. Um, and this really is the best security solution Microsoft have released. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, well, that's just fine. Please subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your nan. Cheers.